Good morning, how are you today? Woo, it's been a day. And actually, it's afternoon. Um, had some issues at the office this morning, went in early. Everything turned out fine, but I've kind of been running since. But happy Wednesday to you. Um, today is August 21st. Of course, I brought my little calendar with me that was on my desk at home because I loved what it said this morning. I was getting ready for my Bible study this morning and I was like, oh, I have to be to the office early. We had a um, somebody coming in that um, I needed to be here in Ipsy for. So guess what? I got dressed and ran out, grabbed all the stuff I need so we can do Bible study because we got to do Bible study. Um, August 21st, my little calendar says, don't think trouble don't think that trouble in your life means you are out of God's will God uses the trouble you have to perfect you there is a big difference between being out of God's will and being pruned or tested by God both are uncomfortable but one leads to life and one doesn't in one you will have peace no matter how uncomfortable it gets in the other you won't absolutely love that needed that encouragement today because dude who's having storms raise your hand storms all around us right storm and all around us and still here we are um stay in god's will sister this is my encouragement for you today stay in god's will do not lose your hope and your trust in god um at the ladies retreat last week um we, uh, Jackie had given us a book to read and I don't know if I brought it today. I wanted to tell you the name of it cause it was so good. Um, and you know what? I don't think I packed it. Um, anyway, it was talking about, um, disappointments and disappointments in your life. And it was talking about all kinds of scenarios that, you know, lots of us go through and, um, you know, that we get disappointed because we have this vision of what life is supposed to be like and we have these expectations that are set and then real life hits and you're going well how come God didn't do that for me well how come God didn't do that for me for me um instead of looking for God in our situations and um trusting God remembering where he's brought you from remember how we walked you through a situation and sometimes as we know ladies god says no and we don't know why and we don't understand why and sometimes ladies god doesn't um heal us and sometimes he doesn't remove us from hard situations so um trust try to stay close to jesus try to stay in your bible try to stay in prayer to jesus try to come to church so that you can be around your uh, Christian sisters who in, can encourage you and pray for you and hug you when you need a hug and pray over you and cry with you. Listen, um, there's nothing more encouraging than coming together and studying the Word of God and having real conversations uh, about the difficult things that we're going through in it and having somebody listening with a softened heart who, who cares for us and loves us. So that I, I challenge you today to get to church. Um, today, actually, um, we are, we are going to go past, uh, number 19, day 19, which, um, I did read and, um, thought, you know what? I want to read day 20 to you instead because it says learning to surrender in the valley. And so I loved this. Um, if you have your Bibles, that would be awesome. I have my Bible right here. Um, Genesis 22, 2. Let's go there. Genesis 22, 2. And this one is called learning to surrender in the valley. Ah, so difficult sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes my emotions, ladies, I get up, have prayer, study, read my Bible, come to work or go, go even just with my husband. And I get really upset really fast. So then my emotions go hi. I'm upset. I'm upset. Then I feel sad. Then I start coming down and I make up, hug people. I'm okay again. Right. Then you're up again. Then you're down again. I mean, dude, I think that's our day as ladies up, down, up, down, up on the side. Um, isn't that correct? So if we go to Genesis 22, 2, it says, it says here, it says, 
And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Um, she says, When I was at my wit's end, God answered my prayers with my dream job. He had promised he would provide, and he did. But something had shifted in the atmosphere at work. I couldn't place my finger on it, but the environment was different. After 11 years, God was calling me to walk away, to leave the security of a salary and follow him into the unknown. Not wanting to be duped by my tendency to get bored and seek change, I prayed about it. I sought God's face, yet as I prayed, I found myself sinking into a low place. I felt like I was caught in a valley, the valley of decision. How appropriate. For isn't a valley a low place in the land between two hills or mountains? God was calling me from one mountaintop to another, and I felt lost in between. My mind wandered to the Bible for examples of those who were caught in the valley. Abraham was one example who came to my mind. God promised Abraham and Sarah, uh, his wife Sarah, a son. After Abraham and Sarah spent many years waiting, Isaac was born. One day God instructed Abraham Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on the mountain. I will show you. And that's Genesis 22, 2. In obedience, Abraham took Isaac on a three-day journey to the place of sacrifice. I think of this journey as Abraham's valley. I wonder what thoughts and questions and doubts may have agonized Abraham in this low place. Still, he pressed on. As Abraham strapped his son to the altar and raised his weapon in full commitment to surrendering the promised child, God intervened and provided a ram as an alternate sacrifice. Don't you love that about Jesus? Ah! Seeing that God had provided, Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day, it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Genesis twenty two fourteen, And I want to go there. Genesis twenty two fourteen says, it says, and Abraham called the name of that place Jeho Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day in the Mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. And that's out of our King James Bible. It says, as I pondered Abraham's story, I felt as though God spoke to my heart. It's not about the circumstance. It's about the surrender. At that moment, I was reminded that God is not only concerned about our actions. He is concerned about our hearts. God gently shifted my focus from the difficult decision before me to the unseen work he was doing within me. Friend, I'm not sure if you're currently in a valley of decision. If you are, I pray that despite your agonizing thoughts, questions, and doubts, you will have the courage to surrender and allow God to do the deep work in the low place. As you surrender in this valley, you may be reminded that no matter what decisions you face or how impossible your circumstances seem, our God is the God of Abraham, and he will provide just as he promised. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. I read that this morning, and I thought, that's our Bible study for today. Um, ladies, don't give up. Um, I actually just uh, saw one of my friends, and um, actually that friend was given the diagnosis of cancer, and... I just hugged her and I said, you know what? We're not going to give up. We're, we're going to go to God in prayer. I'm going to get my church family and all the ladies at, at Joy praying. And we're going to encourage and we're going we're gonna to go through what we got to go through. And um, I told her I loved her so much and that, you know, I hope I'm a good friend during this time and that I don't forget her and I don't uh, not text her and encourage her and pray for her and love on her as much as I can. Um and so many people are going through so many hard seasons. Ladies, I know I've said this before, you know, we see each other this way, but who could know the struggles and the challenges going behind all of our faces and our bodies and our minds with our family, with our friends, with our children, with our grandchildren? Um, please, ladies, just give grace. Please, God, please, God, help us to give grace. Help us to trust you and love you and continue in our battles and our storms, Jesus, calling out to you, Lord, and, and 
trying to stay close to you, even though Satan is fighting with all his might, because I do believe that his time is short. Um, I want to say prayer, prayer with you, but I also want to tell you this one thing. Um, in that book that Jackie was talking about, which I brought up and then moved on with, um, there was a saying in it that said the keys to Christian leadership are bent knees, wet eyes, and a broken heart. And it has us go to Psalms 51, 17. So I want to go there this morning with you. I wanted to read these couple verses. And, um, you know, as, as Satan's time is short, of course, he's going to fight with all of his might um, on anyone who loves Jesus, anyone who has Jesus in their heart and our families and um, and all the things that we, we care about, right? But God, our God is still in control. Oh, yes, he is. And he still hears prayers and he helps us and he answers them. Psalms 51, 17 says, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. Oh God, thou will not despise. Then it has Psalms 34, 4. I want to go there. Psalms 34, 4 says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Um, so let's have prayer. And I hope this encouraged you. I hope um, that it, it, it helps you remember that God is always here. He sees all, he knows all, and he has good plans for us. Let's bow our heads in prayer and we're going to get the rest of this day done. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, for uh, this day. I thank you, God, for being our provider. I thank you, God, uh, that my difficult circumstance and all of our difficult circumstances do not change the promises you have spoken in your word. I pray that as I and as we wrestle with this difficult decision before us, that we will have courage to surrender the work you are doing in my heart and in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, listen, I love you all. Continue in prayer. Get to church. Get to joy. Can't, can't um, encourage you enough to get there. Hang out with the ladies that love you and love Joy Baptist Church. If you don't go to joy, go to church. Go to church, my friend. All right. I love you.